Hello everyone, in this video we are going to understand the concept of Drupal behaviors in Drupal. We will cover these many points. We will cover what Drupal behavior is. We will see how it functions. We will see the basic syntax. We will understand and see how it is implemented and then we will understand the each each and everything we write for Drupal behavior, we will understand the meaning of uh, writing that keyword. Then at the last, we will understand how Drupal implements no conflict and why it implements. We'll see some interesting things uh, which I have recently learned. So let's jump on to the first point, which is what Drupal behavior is. Drupal behavior is, uh, let's first understand what, uh, let's see uh, if you have seen something like this. I believe you must have seen something like this. So this is a uh, jQuery snippet, which is uh, which we write and we write all our functions or our, oh, sorry, all our script or code inside this function. This is to ensure that whatever we are uh, writing inside this, that code must be loaded once all the elements of the DOM or document are completely loaded on page code. Drupal behavior is the, uh, does, does the same thing but i guess it is uh, it does the same thing but it is even better how drupal behavior also ensures that whatever so we it looks like something like this so we write our code inside this and this is a drupal behavior this is the name of my drupal behavior so this also ensures that whatever we write inside our drupal behavior the code must be loaded on both the page load and age ajax call i am enforcing on these words again on both page and ajax call uh, so it also ensures that it uh, the code must be loaded only after once all the elements are completely loaded off on both page and ajax call so this has advantage over in this because drupal behavior is ensuring on both the events ajax call and page load now see how it functions for that let's understand and dig in um, to the simple code so drupal behave for writing drupal behavior we have to write our name of the behavior like this and uh, attach function uh, write a uh, attach fun keyword sorry property and in inside that function we write our code uh, our javascript or jquery uh, script scripting code so uh, basically drupal behaviors is a is a object sorry is a property of drupal ob, uh, object and whenever we write something like or define our own behavior we are basically creating an object of that property and by writing an attach uh, function we are basically let's see what it does so for that let's uh, dig into the core library which is core dot core slash uh, drupal slash core slash drupal so for um, for implementing drupal behavior we must uh, add dependency of core slash drupal to our library and how it looks let's jump on to our code or core slash tab so this is that library and it is referring to this file miscellaneous slash drupal.js and if we see the code this is doing what this is actually calling a uh, Drupal dot attach behaviors functions and what it does. Let's understand with the help of this example. So this Drupal dot JS file has document dot ready function, which calls Drupal dot attach behavior, uh, which, which what it this function and this function, what it does, it calls all the, uh, objects implementing Drupal dot, uh, uh, dot behaviors property. So it will call all the functions which are having this, all the functions of this property or all the, uh, sorry, this will call all the functions, attach function of all such object, dot Drupal dot behaviors object, uh, attach function. So now what would happen? Yeah, so this happens um on page load now uh, on ajax call similar thing happens but what 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 is the difference on ajax call the content of the context changes so on ajax call the content would be something 
relevant to the ajax call or required by the ajax call not the whole um, page or document so that is different except that everything is similar uh, so that is what happens when ever we uh, write a drupal function or that is how it functions second the last third thing is syntax drupal for writing again i have told you for writing drupal behavior we have to write something like drupal dot behaviors dot the name of my behavior and a function then we have to we must write attach behavior because again drupal is going to call function attach function and then we must pass our context as in with what context we are defining our script and settings uh, so this is we must uh, write we can write our code with without even i mean if we i don't want to specify settings i can go with that as well uh, so this is a uh, basic syntax for writing a behavior let's do see if it works or not uh, i have a site here and what i'm doing i am basically setting the random yes i'm setting the um the value of this inbox which is added key i've got the id from you guys can see the id here so this is edit keys and setting the value of this edit key to something random this is method random function so let's see sorry and if you close the cache in let's see what it does so it has populated this search uh, input field with some random keyword so this is working so this is how it works now uh, the third implementation okay so this is actually interesting part drupal behavior let's understand this what it does now let me show you how it works this is what this is working and what is the advantage um now this will this is working this is working this is making sure that it will work only after all the dom or at least this element or entire dom is loaded that's drupal that's the main uh, intent of using drupal is achieved but i'll keep it like this and then we'll see uh, what would happen and is this the ideal way of using drupal behaviors so let's click on this this is a js based ajax based view to and it is showing some content i am clicking on now one so let's see this is 0.061863 this is looking like this and uh, focus on this only i'll click on two and then change this is making an ajax call and changing with the help of ajax this view and you would see this is changing the value here is getting changed or to tell you something or to 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 make you clear with what i mean by this let's understand i have one decent alert box and Let's see i am getting this alert box one two time three time four time five time five time done why five time because whatever what all modules or uh, co beat core or contrib they have if they have implemented drupal behavior then uh, um then uh, any module can call this function attach drupal behavior so any time this function would would be called all the uh, attach function of all the drupal behaviors will be called and then since uh, and and then every time <laughs> this is funny every time 
this function is being written and being being called so this is being fired and i am getting alert five times so that is the reason now what would happen if i click on this too this is a ajax call with ajax with the help of ajax it is returning uh, view output you would see that is uh, it has again fired the alert command which is something i don't want to do i mean so how would i make sure that my js or my code would get uh, would be fired only one time or would be fired only when something is happening with my context or my area or where i want to implement my or write my code for so to make sure that whatever we write should be loaded only once or should be loaded when we want to load uh, we write something like this let's alert will be called when we write something like this context so we add context as in we are providing context so let's see if you have seen the example of okay so see i've i've added uncommented this line so this is actually are uh, doing the same thing uh, pro, pro, uh, generating random number uh, random number uh, inside this input box of search so this is let's see it will what it will do now it if you remember earlier it was uh, producing random number multiple times on every time we i am create uh, sending or creating a ajax request is it doing even now no so it is not doing that see so it is same why so it means this code is not getting fired every time i am uh, either doing ajax call or page load so page load it it will do because it is creating a new session so it is new but it is not getting fired every time i am doing something else so that is why we must specify the context whatever for whatever code we are writing now uh, if we want to make sure that we are writing whatever we are writing that must be loaded only once we can make use of once uh, or we can make use of binding off binding on binding so that is one thing which we can we must use if, if we want to make sure that our code must be loaded only one time or if we want to make sure that our code must not be triggered every time some ajax call is uh, triggered or something else so that is about context now let's and uh, let's understand other thing which is jquery no conflict drupal implements jquery no conflict conflict that is why we must write something like this function uh dollar sign drupal and we specify here what dollar sign represents by arguments jquery and drupal represent drupal uh so uh we wrap our drupal behavior inside this because drupal implements jquery dot no conflict what jquery dot no conflict is let's understand this by help by the help of example i'll un comment this again let's do this okay now you see something what this code is doing this is code is basically this is a uh, there is a uh, region on this page and i'm changing the uh, color of background color of that region to green red and yellow if mouse there is a mouse enter event change the color to green if there is a leave mouse leave event change the color to red if there is a double cl click event change the color to yellow or alert so this is what the code is and yeah now uh, we now know 
why what do we have to do for implementing because drupal is implementing no conflict and we that's why we have to wrap our drupal behavior inside this and this but let's understand the reason for that uh, because that is more important than writing what you have been told to uh, which is spoon feeding <laughs> so we have to write it why because no conflict is needed when we want to ensure that uh, uh, there can be a reason where uh, we represent our jquery with the help of this variable also so we can represent our jquery or write our jquery function with two ways by using jquery or dollar sign uh, there can be uh, some libraries which uses the same dollar sign as for representation but in that case uh, those libraries would not be able to work because this dollar sign is used for jquery so those J javascript libraries would not work so there comes uh, the concept of no conflict no conflict make sure that if uh, whenever we wrap our behavior inside this like this after this uh, wrapper the the scope for the dollar or whatever we write here goes to the globe becomes the global scope so by uh, which means the other libraries can make use of dollar sign if they want to without affecting the code we write here uh, also uh, if we are using multiple versions of uh, javascript jquery here that can also be uh, i mean they, they both the versions would work uh, without conflicting with each other with the help of again no con jquery no conflict so we can specify we can specify here by here passing here which version we want to use and then we can use it here so this is basically we are making an alias of our jquery so let's if it is an alias i believe i can change it to anything else here anything be it anything mm, i have done this i mean i did it only one i mean this is this was my first time when i did it it was something uh, new for me so uh, uh, let's change it to my name which is akansha and you, <laughs> i have never done this uh, this is this is going to be my first time let's see if it will take or uh, akansha and if let's see if all the function will work with my name instead of dollar sign so now until now we know that dollar represents jquery but now i have changed akansha so uh, uh, now <laughs> akansha represents jquery let's see if it will work or not i'll touch the cache so that you guys can be sure that it is not a cache java code let's see see it is working it is still working let's change the code no conflict i'll refresh it let's understand no one so it is working so no conflict is working i can specify anything here jquery akansha and it will take that alias so jquery no conflict is to make sure that uh, if there is any other library and that is uh, J javascript library and that is that uh, using the same uh, dollar representation that should also work along with jquery um, so that is all about drupal behaviors i hope something um, made sense and Let's, uh, I'll see you in other videos. Thank you.